hey loves thank you so much for stopping by my channel and watching this video thank you so much for liking subscribing and commenting as always so i did want to get into a video today um i went by the coach outlet near me and i pretty much decided that it was time to deal with coach a little bit more um and so in doing that I have picked up a couple of things from there recently so I do want to you know do a totally separate video to share you all my items um, from them how I'm using them what I keep in them but number one is my coach backpack and this is in the signature coach print and I forgot the name of it where it has the black background but I love this so so much um and then number two and i'm in my office so i literally work from here and i'm in here doing everything so i have a lot of stuff and this bag looks a little beat up but it is my weekender i got this um and the backpack both from the coach outlet i purchased the backpack for um roughly close to 90 dollars um, with the military discount of 15% off and then I got this duffel which I really love this it's the perfect weekender it's not that big at all this was $211 I think with the military discount as well so um I wanted Louis Vuitton but I could not break that money off to them um so yeah so let me let me grab um my passport really quickly and you guys i bought a new camera finally um so if you're looking at this and you're thinking that my resolution is a lot better it is because i have a new camera but if i'm looking up it's because i'm looking at the screen of myself versus looking at the lenses i have to get used to that but i got the canon g7x so um what i got from the coach store today made me think to do this video because it's an item that i've been checking for with louis vuitton forever like literally since maybe three years ago and i think i saw it in the chevy chase location when we were here um visiting the dmv area but like i said three years ago before we even moved here and so of course they have retired officially retired the item but it is the louis vuitton round coin purse that's the item that i was checking for but i found it today at coach and i love the white outline so much it just gave me a whole new like it gave me life today to see this because i was like now that i'm really into coach for my travel pieces why not add this particular you know item to my collection as far as my regular day-to-day -day handbags so it made me think you know these companies are all doing the same things because this reminds me of the louis vuitton coin holder mm -hmm. that is attached to the um the multi multi I forgot the name of it the one that has the pochette the mini pochette the medium pochette and the round coin case attached and i had my name on the wait list and i did get the item um you know assigned to me but i just couldn't spend seventeen hundred dollars because i already have a mini pochette and that was 300 the regular size pochette from what i remember was about 500 ish and then the coin holder was about 300 ish if i'm remembering correctly so I was like, where does the $1,700 come into play? So I just I just opted out. And I know my essay probably was like, I'm not putting your name on a waiting list for anything else. But I was okay with that because I just couldn't break off $1,700 for that. So any hoodles, this is the Signature Circle Coin Pouch. And it retails for $98. And don't tell me I'm having problems zooming in with this new camera okay so that is an issue um oh there it is i just had to be a little bit patient um 98 is the price and there is also um the name and this one does come with um it's just a little security thing 
the little tissue paper it does come with a linen interior which is similar to the um similar to the interior on some of louis vuitton slgs now inside of the key holder and the coin case it is leather so that is one difference but for example inside of my mini pochette it is a fabric and it's the cherry color um but on the inside of this it is a brown and you guys i'm just gonna be putting coins in here so i don't care what color it is what fabric it is what material it is like i really could care less so um before i jump into the comparisons of the canvas because when i was sitting um, when I got a massage today after I purchased these items, I was just sitting there waiting and I kind of picked them up and I looked at them and I was like, these canvases are, are really similar, like the Louis Vuitton versus the Coach. So I'm going to check that out, kind of do a quick comparison here in just a moment. But I also wanted to share this passport case that I got. And um, this is life right here. So pretty much just to show you guys why I'm super stoked today outside of getting some very nice items. Um, these are my prices. So I paid $26 for the coin holder um, and it is right here on the side. And $26.46 and then I paid $34.56 for the actual um, passport holder. So my total was $64. And again, I did have the 10% off military discount because I am a military spouse. I do get access to that discount. Other than that, it would have been um, a $3.84 difference um, with the passport holder. So it would have been, instead of $34, it would have been like $38 because of the change okay all right and then i don't see okay so then 26 dollars was what i paid for the round coin holder so you've been looking at about 29 maybe 30 dollars because again the change and i mean just to compare prices it is a phenomenal difference in cost um and then you get that buttery soft coach glove leather and i'm getting more into the masculine items as far as the background tone i like the lighter colors because i do still like my feminine girly items but when it comes to the actual um interior i can appreciate black because it's you know gonna wear better for the most part and then it's just a soft buttery glove leather that you just can't pass up because i almost didn't get this actually i saw this first and then i saw the round coin purse and then i said wait a minute this was in a darker color so i asked them to pull out all the ones they had they did have the um one that's kind of similar to the louis vuitton organizer where you open it up and it's taller and thinner um, but you can fit your passport in it and it has a slot for your itinerary however i normally do all of my itinerary on my phone but i do always print a copy of it just for backup purposes and for emergencies um so i do just i do plan on keeping it here in this pocket i said all that to say i plan on keeping it in this pocket when i do print it out um but the passport fits here and then you can fit some additional paperwork documents there and also two card slots now i wouldn't put like my now i would put my driver's license in here um just to go through tsa but for example once i'm done with that i will put everything back in my wallet the way that i always keep it but then what i do like when we go on cruises for example i will put my um my cabin card in here um, that has your room number on it and everything because that's the card that you use when you're cruising to you know charge everything to your room and then also um, just being out of the country then I will put my driver's license and everything in here um now I do have two passports one is an official passport um that will be going in here for my wife and then one is my regular passport um 
so I don't know if both of them will fit in here, but I will try to um, squeeze them both in here. And then, yeah, other than that, this is the passport case. Okay, so just to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the leathers, as you can see, they're both very well put together. Um, if you were to like rub your hand across it or your finger across it, which is very annoying, it's very freaking annoying um, to do that to any texture or material, in my opinion. But if you do that, you can see that it's a, a it's a very similar um similar can't really say that word sometimes but it's a very um it's it's it mimics the feel in a certain sense this is a lot more slippery and this is a lot more textured like as you rub your fingers through here you can feel the different um textures and even like the different directions that the um the print goes in like okay so some of the um the grains in the leather are it's like cross grain and then it's like going vertical and horizontal depending on what color you're looking at the lighter brown is um going in a more horizontal position and the dark brown is going up in a vertical um texture so that i noticed about louis vuitton prints but when you touch um when you touch it you can feel the difference now with coach i don't really feel that it's just like one slick thing and that's fine it's it's still great quality leather i still have one coach piece that i got all the way back right after i graduated from high school and it still looks just like this to this day so um um normally coach smells really good too but for whatever reason i guess because this is just canvas and some kind of like linen or cloth inside it doesn't really smell good at all um or smell like anything the leather the, the leather in here for whatever reason doesn't smell that good and that's just a little coach symbol on there and then um also it just says passport right here and again it's a there it is um yeah but to be honest with you, I'm just using this for coins and this occasionally for my passport. Um, I know a lot of you asked me to do a handbag collection. I do have some of my um, items in the background right here. Um, I just want to kind of focus on a little bit because I'm getting ready to put this. Um, maybe right there for now. Um, just until I get to my passport which um that's another section where i have some of my bags as well so um i'm going to go through my items to get ready to do the collection video that i've been promising um and a lot of things are inside of my handbag so um i'll have to pull all that out and maybe i'll do it here that way i could just reach and go through things um, but I do have things in boxes as well. So some of these boxes are actually um, empty because the items are in my SLGs are in my purse. But then some of these boxes um, have things in them. For example, and this is totally off topic. Um, actually, no, that's not it. I don't even know where it is. And that's another thing I need to. Oh, it's over here. Um, I bought a ring from Gucci. So I wanted to and make sure that I included every little thing um, in my collection video because you guys have been asking for it for quite some time now. So um, I do promise that will be coming. I am so loving the camera. I remember back in the day when I would get feedback on my videos and I was like trying to explain to you guys that I hadn't invested any money in cameras. I do have another channel for my spiritual business. So um, I went ahead and did the investing because I do... Um, I do recordings um, for clients and I also do videos. So I have 
um, step my game up again I have a Canon it's a Canon G7X Mark II and as soon as I purchased it got the protection plan on it and everything from Best Buy got my SD cards got my camera stand got my spare battery um, as soon as I got everything then they um, I was looking online at information on my camera and they were talking about the release of the Mark III which is going to probably be in um, a week or so if they haven't already released it because I did get this camera last week. So I'm like, oh my goodness, like I can't keep up. That's the reason that I don't get certain technology because it becomes obsolete so quick. I don't know how long this camera has been around. Looks like it's been a few years, but I'm like, I just don't know now if I want to keep this one or get the next one up. So for now, we'll start here and guys be looking out for the collection video. It is coming soon, I promise. Also, I have a giveaway coming soon and you don't want to miss this. So thank you, love, so much for watching. Peace and namaste. Let me figure out how to turn this thing off.